Hello students and learners, welcome to the new lecture and in this lecture we are going to discuss two topics. First is the arteries and veins, next is the blood capillaries. Okay, so these topics are the extensions of the previous lecture that is internal structure of the heart and uh, blood vessels. Okay, so here there are three types of the blood vessels. In the textbook they have mentioned that there are two types of the blood vessels but that is wrong. There are not two types of the blood vessels. There are three types of the blood vessels. They are arteries, veins and blood capillaries. So make necessary corrections in the textbook so that there are three types of the blood vessels. Okay. So first coming to the artery, what is meant by artery? So these arteries are nothing but a blood vessel. Okay. So they are going to carry blood from the heart to the body parts. Let us consider this is the heart. Okay. So in the heart, we can see there is a left ventricle. So from the left ventricle, so there is a systemic artery is going to come. It is going to divide into branches. Okay. So these branches are known as arteries. Okay. These branches are known as arteries and these uh, arteries are going to supply blood to the body parts. Okay. Body parts. Okay, so as a result, we can understand that these arteries are the blood vessels that are carrying blood from the heart, from the heart to body parts. Okay, from heart to body parts, they are known as arteries. And in these arteries, we can see that it is coming from the heart, so there is higher blood pressure. So if the higher blood pressure is there, what you, what these blood vessels need, they need much thicker walls. Okay, the walls, not walls, okay, walls walls is different walls is different okay so these are uh, walls are nothing but they are some uh, regulatory structures they will control the movement of the blood and here the walls means the size okay so the walls in the arteries are thicker so that to withstand the higher blood pressure that is exerted by the heart okay so next the veins veins are the blood vessels they will uh, they are going to carry blood from the body parts to Heart. Again, you can see here, these are the body parts, okay, they have consumed all the nutrients and gases and exchanging uh, exchange also done. So they are going to bring blood to the heart, okay. So whatever the blood vessels that are bringing the heart, uh, bringing the blood from the body parts to heart, they are known as veins, okay. Veins always involves in the collection of the blood, blood from the body parts and they will transport to the heart okay so if you compare the walls of the arteries and veins there is a major differences so how what is the main differences let us consider this is the walls okay you can see here the lumen this is the lumen means where the the, uh, the chamber or the space where the blood is flowing through okay let us consider this is the tube okay so this is the artery and this is the vein. Can you see here the thickness is much, there is more thickness in the artery and there is less thickness wall in the vein. Okay, there is the only major difference that is the thickness. The thickness in the artery is much larger and thickness in the vein is much thin. Okay, so this is only the difference that you can see between the arteries and veins. And in the veins, you don't find any much blood pressure. So there is less amount of blood pressure. So as a result, the blood can flow in this lumen freely. And while in case of arteries, there is a huge blood pressure. So the wall thickness must be larger so that to, to, withstand, to withstand the pressure that is exerted by the heart. Okay, next is the blood capillaries. So these blood capillaries are microscopic blood vessels made up of single layer of cells. Here you can see this is the artery that is let us consider this is a branch that is coming from the arta from the heart okay. So this artery is going to divide into branches. These branches are known as blood capillaries okay. These blood capillaries are going to exchange the different different substances whether it may be nutrients or gases or blood uh, or some kind of uh, blood cells like leukocytes you can call them as a WBC also. WBC means white blood cells and so on so these all uh, all will get exchanged whenever where there is a blood capillary these are microscopic microscopic means you cannot see with the eye hence you need microscope to see these blood vessels to see these blood capillaries okay so this is the main differences between the arteries blood capillaries and veins again you can see here these blood capillaries are 
going to join at a point the from that point you can call them as veins okay so this is the difference between the artery blood capillaries and veins you can see here they are bridging the gap between the arteries and veins you can or you can call it as a, they are the continuity establishing the continuity between the arteries and veins they are known as a blood capillaries okay and it's a small table that have that is asked in the textbook so about the structure and function of the blood vessels about their thickness presence of the walls capacity to retain the shape when the blood is absent direction of the flow of blood pressure in the vessels types of blood transported so this is regarding the arteries and veins so the thickness is much more in the artery and while the thickness is uh, less thickness okay so the less thickness in the veins and more thickness in the arteries so the capacity to retain the shape when the blood is absent both the blood vessels they are going to retain the shape okay whether it may be artery or vein they are going to retain the shape so when the blood is absent the direction of the flow of blood that is from the heart to organs okay arteries are going to carry the blood from heart to organs so, and the veins are going to carry blood from our organs organs of the body to the heart okay so here we can see so let us know this is the heart okay so these are the left ventricle from the left ventricle you can see the transport of blood to the body parts and from the body parts what you can see they will get transported the blood is transported through the veins into the right atrium from to the right atrium so these are known as arteries these are known as arteries these are known as veins okay so between the arteries and veins there are blood capillaries okay this is the main difference between the arteries veins and blood capillaries and flow of blood okay so next uh, there are few uh, we have to discuss about the pressure in the walls the pressure is high in the heart in the artery why because the blood is directly coming from the heart so as a result these arteries are the tubes that carry blood from the heart they have to withstand the higher pressure so as a result they are much thicker and also there is a more pressure or high pressure here okay so next is the veins in the veins the blood pressure is low why because direct flow of blood is not coming from the heart to the veins as a result the blood pressure will be low in the veins next type of blood transported is oxygenated so these arteries these arteries are going to carry the oxygenated blood okay except pulmonary artery what the pulmonary artery where it is emerging from so this is the these are the chambers right atrium right ventricle okay so from the right ventricle the blood will be transported to the lungs okay so from the right vent uh, the, from the right ventricle the blood which blood deoxygenated blood will be transported to lungs okay that tube is known as that blood vessel is known as pulmonary artery remember pulmonary artery is the artery it is going to carry deoxygenated blood to the lungs and uh, in case of veins they are going to carry deoxygenated blood except pulmonary vein so pulmonary vein is a vein that is going to bring blood to the heart to which chamber to the left atrium to the left atrium the blood vessel that is known as pulmonary vein it is going to bring the blood which blood which type of blood oxygenated blood even though pulmonary vein is a vein it is going to carry oxygenated blood from the lungs to the left atrium okay so this is the about uh, blood flow the question here is discuss the difference between the pulmonary artery and pulmonary vein just now we have discussed the pulmonary artery is the artery it is going to carry deoxygenated blood from the right ventricle from the right ventricle to the lungs to both lungs that is right and left lung and pulmonary vein it is a blood vessel it is going to bring it means it is going to bring the blood from the both lungs to left atrium here you can see left atrium okay that blood vessel is known as pulmonary vein okay so there is another activity that is observation of arteries and veins so in this activity we have to observe about uh, importance of uh, or the flow of blood in the arteries and veins so for this activity you have to sit on the table with one leg dangling dangling means so the freely moving uh, moving leg okay when you sit on the higher tables so you can freely move your leg 
and as a result that is known as dangling and others other leg is sitting on the back of the knee so it means you have to place one leg over the other let us consider the right leg okay so right leg is placed on the left leg okay so as a result the knee one knee is above the other knee then uh, the left leg knee is on the right leg so in this way you can you have to sit on the table okay so after some times you can see a small movements with each heartbeat in the leg which is on the top it means on the left leg you can see there is some kind of movements in it so why because there is a restricted blood flow blood flow is not proper into the right leg so why because you are blocking the flow of blood into that leg okay as a result there will be generation of pins and needles sensation in the leg after some time so this is about it why the pins and needles will be seen in the leg because the blood flow is restricted or stopped so next the swing arm in the in the next case you have to swing the arm around several times so that if you swing the arm in the circular motion so the blood will be pumped into the hand as a result the as a result the blood will be filled in the veins so when the blood is filled in the veins you can see the accumulation of blood in that area or in that veins so next to hold arm vertically downward vertical downward means the hand which is facing towards the earth okay so that is vertically downward and gently press your finger in a prominent vein stroking in the reverse direction of the blood so as a result that is towards the hand as a result what you can see let us consider this is the hand and uh, the blood will be flown in this way as when you uh, when you uh, rotate the hand uh, circular motion okay so if you if you show the hand to vertically downwards okay towards the ground what will happen the blood will get accumulated over here and also along with the pressing okay uh, prominent vein stroking as a result the blood will get accumulated in this region okay so by this way we can say that the swelling is seen over here and there is a question that is can you see the swelling where you the where you have pushed the blood against the walls yes there is a accumulation or swelling so that the blood is filled in that region okay let us consider this is the vein okay so when you push the blood towards this side so what will happen the blood will get accumulated over in this region and there is a wall over here okay so wall over here and uh, if you stop over there what you can see there is the accumulation and swelling of the blood in this region okay so next arteries walls are strong and elastic why so they are strong and elastic so that to withstand the pressure of the blood which is exerted by the heart so the main reason for elastic is so they are going to bulge a little bit when there is a huge amount of the pressure so next why are the we compare arteries like a tree and which divides into smaller and smaller branches so that is arta is the largest blood vessel so from which chamber the arta is coming from okay the arta is coming from the left ventricle so this is the arta that is coming from the left ventricle this arta is going to divide into fine branches okay again these branches will divide again so these branches are known as arteries okay so these arteries will divide again into arterioles okay arterioles a r t e r i o l e s arterioles so these arterioles again they will divide into blood capillaries okay so these blood capillaries they will help in the exchanging of the gases nutrients and so on so this is about the arteries and uh, by this way you, if you compare all the structure it is looking like a branches that you can see in the tree okay so these are the branches that you can see in the tree as a result these also such kind of arrangement is also similar to the blood circulation or the blood vessel circulation in the body hence you can compare with the tree or the branches that you can we see in the scene in the tree okay so the lumen size is bigger in veins when compared to the artery why so why because why the lumen size is bigger in the veins so if you compare there is a higher pressure in the artery okay so the lumen size is very very less to withstand the pressure while the veins lumen size is larger why because it has to carry a large amount of the blood capacity so to carry a large amount of the blood capacity capacity in the vein the lumen size is larger so here the blood pressure is less here the blood pressure is more okay 
So as a result, due to the less amount of the blood pressure, the lumen cell is more and also to carry the more volume, more volume of the blood, so the lumen size is larger, okay? So this is the main difference between the lumen size, why the lumen size is larger in the veins when compared to the artery, okay? And I hope this lecture is helpful to you and uh, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel and also like and share and comment and uh, in the next lecture we are going to discuss about the heart okay so cardiac cycle and further topics okay and we will see you in the next lecture